Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today this will be a overview of my trauma kit. So this was a this is a Plano box, an old one. It was originally my dad's for when he worked for um, a sheriff's rescue department. Yes, emergency services. Most of those stickers were just falling off, so I just took those stickers off and left the ones that were still intact. So let's open it up. As you can see on top, we have some bandages. I have a little package of sunscreen. Um, I have assorted bandages, gauze pads, moist towelettes, and right here I have some more alcohol swabs, sting pads, alcohol pads. Next layer we have tweezers, some tape, safety pins, Q-tips, and some and a um pen light. Here's the second layer, here's the top layer, just so you didn't get a good overview of that. Then some roll gauze, some anti-itch cream, drip antibiotic ointment, some sting relief, and another roll of gauze. Now here's where we get to the real part, the real, the part that you will need training for. I have some medical shears, some gauze pads, about three by three. You can see right there. I have some four by fours, some more four by fours. I have some more three by threes, gauze pads, some more four by fours more 4x4s. Four four then I have um, a film dressing and some abdominal abdominal pads, combine dressings. You could also use those for major wounds. If you can't see those, here you go. There you go. Okay. And then I have a seatbelt cutter. And then I have um, some assorted, more assorted tools like hemostats, medical shears, scissors. Okay. And I have right here just a little small, another minor first aid kit from Venture Medical Kits. That's probably going to be in another video review. So, if you can't see, there's the list. Here's the list. Okay, then I have a emergency blanket. There's the size. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Then I have a triangle bandage. And a little squeeze flashlight. It is one of those flashlights that you can just flick on or you push this little thing down and then it opens up like that and you can see it does that so a little flashlight CPR mask and here's another item that I'm going to review later a pair of Leatherman Raptors they are I got my pair for free from a giveaway on Facebook but they're normally, they'll run you normally around 80, 60 to 80 dollars. They have a pair of shears, a ruler, Fo come on focus, focus camera, focus, does not want to focus but that's a ruler I promise. Strap cutter, oxygen tank wrench, um, a lanyard loop, and glass 
breaker. So that's that. And it also locks open with two little triangle buttons. Okay. Then I have a CPR pocket mask by Laridol. Fairly old one, but it's kept clean and sterilized. And I'll probably wash it again after this. And the gloves and the alcohol pads were bad, and the gloves were just disintegrating. It has the little instruction manual and the mask itself and valve. And then in here I have a blood pressure cuff. I'll do a separate video on this as well. But I have a blood pressure cuff. Another CPR mask. Here's the blood pressure bulb and the cuff is more for an infant. I'm working on getting a adult sized one and child. Gloves, stethoscope, instructions. As I said, if you, for this bottom part, if you don't have the training, I'd recommend getting some so you know what to do and know how to use it. So that's that, everybody. That is that. Thanks for watching.